there was a, a one of the f I, yeah favorite parts for me but one i wanted to dig into especially the creative side of it was like there's a sort of I, I don't know the technical term sorry but you sort of hop up on your front wheel and then you tire tap three sort of like stanchions oh like, yes yeah you know that pe that part mm -hmm. so like that for example i'd love for you to describe like okay you see that feature how do you then figure out what exactly to do on it and what yeah what's that like creative process like and why uh, that for example well i suppose you're always when you're looking for locations you're always looking for things that kind of stand out and i mean those kind of um foundation-y concrete blocks stood out well yeah but they were quite tight and difficult to do and you know they weren't they were too steep to be do to use as a sort of transition. Mm. Um, they were also painted in this sort of almost like galvanized or almost like galvanized kind of surface, right. uh, which was really slippy. So you're kind of looking at them and trying to work out something to do on it, anything. I mean, it's a bit of a random move trying to go yeah. with a back wheel, but we were just basically, you know, this is what we had to work with and you're just sort of yeah. trying to come up with um, whatever there was. So, um mm. And then it's a case of like, come up with an idea and then try and sort of make it work. That probably took a, that was probably at least, that was probably only like a 50 gore as well. So that's quite, that's pretty really? low. Pretty low. We were trying gore. to do quite a cool shot. Robbie's sort of running in with a camera, trying to do some fancy maneuvers as well. So, okay. Yeah. Does it help having that like compressed team rather than having millions of people? Does it help having a compressed team if you're doing loads of tries? Yes. Yeah, like I'd rather have a much smaller team um, and more time in front of the camera. Yeah. I mean, it's, with a bike film, you don't, I mean, you can see why films have so many, you know, when you actually work in like bigger films, you see why there is so many bodies mm. running around doing the different jobs because they're really like the, ty the, t the time that the camera is rolling is so like, sort of precious or whatever whereas like i'm a little bit more i just need the time the camera i just need the camera to roll for a long time and i'll get my stuff done maybe it means i should actually sort of train um and you know practice and learn but i think no matter how that's just become the way i work it's like no matter how much i trained and practiced so you don't you'd always find you always want to be aiming for at least the 50 gore that's yeah. a, that's what i would say that's and really I, cool. That yeah, is. Yeah. Yeah. In mountain biking, I'd like to see more of it. It's hard to do because it's quite hard to kind of, to say, drift a downhill bike into a turn, like cross rutted and stuff. Like, I would say you'd probably only, you're probably only doing that kind of stuff. Maybe you might give it five or six goes or something like that. And it's it's more difficult to work with. Mm. I mean, you'd, be, you'd relate to it more. Works. Like, I'm sure in dirt jumps and stuff, there'd be, there'd be maneuvers. Like yeah, I mean, 50 goes to me is like, I'm, I'm so weak in that respect. And like, I've always thought, like both skate, BMX and what you do, I always, I've always thought it's amazing that you can do it that many times. Like, mm. I, is it like a, there's like a Instagram page, it's like my battle or something like that. Oh yeah, just, uh, my war. My, my war, war uh, yeah, it. my war. Yeah. I think it's my, yeah. You know yeah, what the, I mean? The Thrasher right? one, yeah, they're un unbelievable. So it's just got every failed attempt, and you That's see what sick. people do to just get that clip, and obviously that clip is what gets shared, what goes mm. in the, what makes the edit, whatever. Mm. And you've basically got a my war times however many. Yeah, maneuvers. it's not maybe as extreme as a skate, you know, twenty set rail kind of thing. Do you, know, do you know what I do? I, I know why you say that, but then also it, over a jump, you crash, you've got all this momentum to, and you've got time to think and stuff like that. I, a lot of the things that you're doing are more hurty. <laughs> like, no, no, absolutely not. <laughs> absolutely not. On a jump, you slide away. Oh, I mean, you, you should see me trying to do a jump. So I, <laughs> like, it's funny. It's like, it's all, I think, but I suppose it's the way that any of us, I mean, I'm sure Matt McDuff said a really good and it's like to get to certain level, you just got you you you've got to get good at crashing, yeah. or getting out of it. Um, and I think we probably all learn. Like I can get out of jumps well. I just basically right. hit the top and go to the bottom, miss out the the curly bit in the middle. <laughs> like to you know, whereas if it's all dropping to flat, I'm like you land to flat and you don't go anywhere. It's quite good. You just yeah. like, but it tends to be on your feet because yeah. trial, trials is very. Trials is very like you've usually got a point of contact with the ground 
it's not usually going wrong midair unless you're yeah. like chain snapped or it's just you know, so quick though that's what i think what i'm getting at yeah, like mm-hmm. in the air but as soon as i learned to bail i was like oh well i can try any jump like when i was younger i was like oh you get rid of the bike and then you can see where you are and run try and run away and then slide whereas if no, you're jumping on a really bike like... onto a bike the idea of like okay the bottom bike yeah. falls over the top bike so now you're in an uncontrollable position you're putting your foot wedging it between a few bits of frame in a microsecond like um yeah i mean i don't know it's hard to really i mean that one's like i'm not i'm not gonna call out the, the bike on bike was like a big uh you poor, know poor example maybe no not like quite like going to rampage or something like that yeah know? fair uh, enough you know what i like about these conversations <laughs> and like i hope people take the same away it's kind of for me it's like when we had chris Acregard and it made me go out when i go for a ride it made a ride a little bit different because i was like actually I'll go and ride over those rocks or I'll go and do this thing that I wouldn't normally do. Right. And it's the same with this. Like the fact that you can even, for me, I don't do this, but like go and try something more than once. Mate, so I'll just yeah. walk away. I'll just ride away and be like, I can't, I can't do that. 100%. I think if you're, if you're ever doing like a tip for, I mean, it's not, I don't know. Like if you're ever just start of stop and film something on for Instagram, I think it's not, it's like, or if you're just doing it for yourself, you know, for your own personal satisfaction, I would say, like give it more you know you don't want to hold the the whole crew up and you don't want to be that guy it's like literally taking you know if it's yeah. a group ride and you're taking 50 goes on time but if it's you and your pal and you've seen something you know you say it was like a climb you had to clean or a sort of style thing that you wanted to get over or something just spend the extra time and yeah. get it because you'll be stoked yeah that's and i basically just take that to the extreme like extreme. i'll i will happily roll like i was filming the other day in the woods uh near my house on some logs and i uh is this eas- the footage you showed us last night yeah so i okay. i easily i easily took three hours to get through that line one of the lines clean you know and i'm not even really getting that frustrated crashing my brain's out all over the place having these all these awkward falls and whatnot but um you're just like well it's like i know i can get through that yeah i know what the net like my my feeling is the next one is it it's always like I say I was like this one. I believe it as well because you know that's how it works. You just mm. you can kind of it can get rejected so many times, and eventually it'll just click. I think there's a major lesson in that for a lot of people. Yeah, and me especially, like going out and doing that stuff because it is really fun. But I think mm. I just don't do it anymore. I used to a little bit more, but now I won't go out and try something more than twice. I just like oh, I keep going. Yeah, it's kind of is really. I mean, on the e-bike, I have to say. That's why I, I do quite like, I like the way when you ride a track. I mean, if you're, as, of course, if you're maybe chasing, um, you might be chasing a time or Strava mm. or hitting a certain line, but I do quite like that about mountain bike and e-bike where you, this is never, you know, I'm never disappointed at the bottom of a trail. I'm always like satisfied, you know, yeah, like, yeah, 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 yeah. it's like, you're just like bomb down with your pals. You've all you've all gotten sketchy, mm. and it doesn't have that kind of um, war. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. It depends what you're riding. Of course, you can. I mean, of course, there's there's always levels to you know if you're riding like some mad jump line. I mean, I'm not usually. I'm just riding steep yeah. stuff that I kind of generally know I can get down. But you don't have that kind of disappointment. Mm, but you probably that. don't have the satisfaction you get when you clean it at the end. That's pretty cool and unique to trolls, I would say, or skate skating maybe. Yeah. Or yeah. well, I suppose it depends if I'm it depends if I'm filming or not. You know, for my own sort of personal satisfaction, I'm probably more buzzing on out the bottom of a trail than. But if I'm there to like set myself a little challenge, and I get that done, then. It's. I mean, by the time you get to into the three, four hundred goes, though, it's like relief. Like you've, you've, you've mentally done it so many times. You've meant, you know, um, and then it's more something that you're, you're, you don't. It's not like you're getting like a dopamine hit off it. Really, it's just more like, well, <laughs> it was inevitable. I was gonna get it. That's how I'm a wee bit like that. <laughs> Do like, you know, I, I, I love it that it takes so much to get uh, such a short edit. I, have you ever thought about doing like? a director's cut that has all of the attempts in and then the final because i would watch it if it was like my war on each thing yeah and you realize how much effort goes into the stuff i mean it would be 
a boring watch. It'd be a lot of me chatting. A lot of me chatting. <laughs> I, don't know, and I, I, I chat a lot. I'm, I'm like, good. I'm chatting to the guys like, oh, exactly why things aren't working right. You yeah. Know? It's like just a mental flow of just babble. <laughs> the poor guys are sat there getting jumped by midges. They're like, surely, <laughs> daddy, come on. <laughs> like lunchtime was past two hours ago. <laughs> and they're just like, but it's good. But you, you know, but you know, it could be, it can be nowhere to be seen that's the thing with it you can literally be trying something and it's like you might have gotten nowhere close and mm. then like the next go you do the whole thing and you're done so it's like and it pretty much always it pretty much always works and that's you know most of the time it comes in that session but it's like have you ever worked out what the difference is sorry no 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 like what the difference is between you can take all these attempts and it fucks up and like each individual one you might be like oh i didn't break hard enough i didn't put my weight forward enough but when it all comes together have you worked out what it is that you do or is it just completely I don't know I'd like uh, no I started to start looking into the numbers <laughs> you know I mean it seemed to be like three or four hundred goes sometimes like oh. there's like a certain amount of just you know was it you throw shit at the wall eventually it'll stick <laughs> <laughs> you know? really yeah it feels that way but sometimes it is like that it's just about like I mean, I sometimes trying to change up strategy, you know, like what's the others, was it the, you know, if you go in with the same plan over and over yeah, and you yeah, get, yeah. you know, it's like something to do with madness. Yeah. Like, I can't the, remember what's uh, it called. I, I, yeah. Doing the same thing, thing over and over. Is, yeah. And I, some, I, yeah. I, I go through that a lot and right. occasionally, but, um, usually I'm right. <laughs> <laughs> that's no nah, i don't know so the start, yeah. do you come in do you visualize exactly what it's like you sort of know right what it's going to feel like you knew mm -hmm. when you go off the edge of the 13 yeah foot drop you know what's going to happen mm -hmm. basically so you've got a clear picture i guess that's a bad example because that's just like yeah. a drop in it but um maybe there's something like the with this rail in the adidas headquarters i had to ride down this rail yeah um and that one's kind of had quite a lot of exposure. I mean, it's quite straightforward. It's not like I'm doing anything too sort of blind or complicated, but. Okay. Okay. Hey man, what an episode that was. You did amazing in it. And so did you. You shone like a star. You shone like a moon. Can we also put something up here that you can yeah. click on for the next episode? How about we put a subscribe up there in the middle? Yeah. Love We're going to put idea. a video we think that our uh, lovely companionship yeah. will love yeah. on your face. On oh, my face? Yeah. So and they on can't my... see me now. Gone. And on my face, another video that we think people will love. And thank you for watching. Thank you for listening. Please hit like and subscribe. You guys are the best. Peace and love.